So dear students, welcome on this platform of learning and we are going to begin phrases and clause that is fourth chapter of your practice book. Let's understand what phrases are and what clauses are. Phrases are group of words. These are group of words as well as clauses too are group of words. Both are group of words. But what is the difference? Difference is that subject uh, phrases do not have verb and subject no subject and verb there is no subject and verb whereas clauses have subject and verb it has subject and verb it gives complete sense clauses gives complete sense it gives complete sense dear students you know that in order to have a complete sense of uh, the good the proper sense of the sentence we need to have subject and verb now you may be asking that a sentence to have subject and verb verb and it gives complete sense but here is one difference that clauses may or may not may may give a good uh, complete sense or may not give com complete sense okay there are two two things that clauses sentence whereas sentence always always gives complete sense whereas clauses may give complete sense may not give complete sense whereas phrases does not give phrase does not give complete sense it never gives complete sense so we understood phrases and clauses are group of words phrases do not have subject and verb so they do not give complete sense whereas clauses have subject and verb subject and verb so they they may give complete sense and they may not give complete sense whereas sentence always gives complete sense now let's understand with the sentence here the house is square like this now see this part if i say just like this is it giving any sense it is not giving any sense top of a hill it is not giving if only i will write if where i would write a house is a square it is giving complete sense the house is square but it is give adding more meaning to the sentence that how, what, what kind of how, house is that it is like this if i write only like this it does not give complete sense it does not give complete sense whereas if i even write this much of sentence this part of the sentence the house is square so it has subject and it has verb so it is giving complete sense right so here in this part the like this is phrase it is not giving sense and it do not have subject and verb like this ke paas hai there is no subject and verb so it is not giving complete sense now the house stands on top of the hill if you write only top of a hill it will not give a sense while if you write the house stands it is giving some sense right the room it is giving some sense not complete sense but it is giving sense so it is not phrase this is phrase the room was marked with a cross your nominal authority does not annoy me in the least now see the world in bold makes sense but not complete sense so it is what now see here the group of words which make some sense but not complete sense is called a phrase now let's do you will be able to have a clear understanding by doing the worksheets uh work uh, with the partner fill in the blanks with suitable phrases given in the aid box chachi was now you have to choose from this only and these are what if you will read these uh, group of words alone it is not giving any sense do they are they giving any sense no they are not giving sense because they are phrases now chachi was af after all here after all a fairly tolerant person means sensitivity such cases as a rule as a rule 
are not dealt by this office the painting was stolen by someone this one under the cover of darkness under the cover of darkness let's move to the next part the hall the ball couldn't be traced in the fading light in the fading light oh in the fading light oh this is not okay fading light means kam hota wa light that is fading away that the beauty of the rising sun here write down take the help from the help box the beauty of the rising sun see the spelling check the spelling from the box rising sun spread across the the sky in the east the audience were was by and large it is by and large matlab mota moti matlab ek general idea by and large means you have a general idea the audience was by and large pleased with his pleased with his performance now worksheet 2 look at the two picture of the same room there were there has been a burglary means chori hui hai kuch ghar tod kar ke koi saman le jaya gaya picture shows the condition of the room before the burglary a uh, burglary and picture b it uh, after it tool place write down where the things missing in picture b were actually kept use the words given in the box one example has been done for you the example has already been done now you have to use these many words these many things to see which were which was placed where now let's see just have a uh, uh, simple idea like here is the hand box guitar is at two places uh, paintings paintings are hanging on the wall uh, briefcase is lying here when was is where is the was where is the was i cannot yeah th there is the was was is here video recorded is here uh, whereas watches are lying here computer is here television set this place now see this in this picture it is missing the things are missing now you have to arrange you have to make sentence there was a television set on the trolley right now let's complete the sentences there were some paintings now you have to write it you have to complete it okay that the the, uh, the handbag was on the floor now you have to you know uh, uh, go to the last it is written encircle the phrases in each sentence you have written so here we are writing we are uh, encircling the phrases on the floor i am encircling right away the guitar guitars were placed there are two great there were two guitars the guitars were placed on the wall were placed by the wall by the wall so i am encircling this the paintings were hung on the 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 paintings were hung on the wall okay now hung on the wall okay now let's move to the the briefcase was on the floor the briefcase was on the floor now see here on the floor now let's move to the next part the video recorder was on the trolley the video recorder 
was on the trolley so was on the trolley under uh, in circle on the trolley similarly you make more sentences like uh, the next sentence you may write the watches were kept on the floor so kept on the floor this would be encircled okay now next sentence you can write the uh, computer was on the floor the computer no computer was on the table na the computer was on the table encircle this on the table the crockery were in the almira the crockery were in the almira in the almira encircle this in the almira similarly you can write uh, the left left part and encircle the part in this fashion now these are what these are phrases you have to you have understood phrases phrases are group of words which does not give complete sense does not remember does not give complete sense you have to encircle the phrases in this now let's move to the next part that is worksheet 3 and what the worksheet 3 is all about the clauses now you have understood clauses 2 are group of words group of words and what it has it has both subject and verb and it may may or may not give complete sense okay now read the following these sentences from the unit attitude we will be doing the attitude uh, walls were peeled away so that remains of room stood gap uh, stood gapping open now see here remains of room there is verb and the subject there are there are subject and the verb and you know what is subject subject refer to a person place or the thing hum log kiske bare mein baat kar rahe we are talking about room so subject is what room so here in this sentence there are two subjects and two verbs right here two subject and two verbs so it is giving giving some sense it is giving actually some sense while some is giving not complete sense so subject uh, uh, in order to have a clause it should have both subject and verb so walls were placed away so that remains of room stood gapping op uh, good stood gapping open what is this not able to read it okay her uh, her fears had been lifted by what she had accomplished even if you have right she has accomplished it is not giving complete sense but it has subject and it has verb so she had accomplished she has accomplished what it is not giving complete sense so what she has accomplished she has lifted something she has lifted something so her fears had been lifted by what she had accomplished she heard a very faint cry when she got back both her subject and verb i don't know where my courage came from now observe this sentence courage came from when she got back right so these are what these are clauses now the group of words in bold in each sentence above contains a subject and a predicate and what is predicate predicate is what the subject tells about uh, predicate tells something about the subject something about the about the subject subject is what subject of a sentence is person can be person or a place or a thing or the idea that is performing some action jo action kar raha hota hai that is subject and predicate and predicate tells us what subject is doing predicates tell us what subject is doing it tells something about the subject what it is telling something about the subject now group of words which has subject and a predicate and is part of the longer sentence is called 
clause this is a long sentence which it is when she got back both have subject and verb but it is the part of the long sentence so this is and both it uh, the, these uh, bold sentences the bold bold part of the sentence both have subject and predicate that is subject and verb let's move to the next part worksheet 4 look at picture given below guess the reason why each of these person feels so then complete the given sentences sentences one has been done for you rita is feeling because because her friends are coming to meet her now you can write it of your own why a particular your opinion may be different but uh, let me let's do it mr sundar may be laughing because uh, she had uh, he had heard some joke or he is watching uh, some scene in the movie or he is watching comedy so let's write it because he is now see it here it is present tense so we will use present present tense he is watching comedy show similarly what is there sujoy is feeling happy because because he has won see the trophy he has won a trophy now ridhima is angry because she may be angry because of some reason she has lost something because uh, she has missed the bus missed the bus or anything you may write of your own choice now what we have written she has missed the bus or uh, she, he has won the trophy all he is he uh, he is watching a comedy show all this part of the word part of the group of words have both subject and predicate subject and verb mrs sharma has fallen asleep because she she became tired she is tired see subject and the verb so it is giving a complete sense now let's move to the next part mr rajput does not know what to do because because what he is confused he is in dilemma you may write see here this is this has some sense uh, next is uh, srinivas is crying because he is because you may write he has lost in video game he has lost something in video online video gaming now what days you people must be watching lots of video games or in playing lots of video game right so all this sentence all the groups of word beginning with because have a subject now see here because this is subject this is subject and a predicate of their own they are therefore what clause all these are clauses after because whatever we have written these are clause now let's move to the worksheet 5 work with the partner in the following paragraph some clauses are given in the bold letter and uh, write the clauses in the table given on the next page along with their subject and predicate Mm, what is there many people now see here see the blue bold letter uh, the group of words that are on uh, that are with bold there is something and something in it you have to keep and keen eyes be observant notice this many people who have visited now see here uh huh is there who have who have visited trinity call trinity city call it a beautiful city the city which is now see here uh, which who which is and we are talking about who many people the city we are talking about city so this is what subject is what subject is refer or subject represent what or whom the sentence is all about it it refers to person place or thing who is performing some action so please keep attention 
stay focused the city which is an island gives you a feeling of the sea in air the city was planned with straight roads which which we are which stands for what city was planned with straight roads which cross now we are talking which cross each other at right angles now we are talking about straight roads ye jo which aa raha hai this which is is for straight ro- roads very often you can find yourself at places where now again where you are on the highest level the site is beautiful wherever you go a very good way to travel in the city is by cable car there are buses that ra- run on rails on the ground this food is delicious and is available even when it is past midnight all in all trinity city or tc short form tc as those who live here call it a fine city chalo now you have to write you have to now you have the understanding of clause clause are group of words these are group of words which has subject and verb or predicate subject and predicate and gives may or may not give complete sense where a subject subjects are refers to the person place or thing who is performing the action and predicates tell something about the subject predicate tells something about the subject right now let's now on the basis of the above reading let's do it so let's do it clauses in the first line who who have who have visited visited tc that is trinity city and here a subject is who and predicate is have visited trinity city have visited tc please listen to my voice and write it i am not able to write in a proper way so which is now again next sentence is which is an island clause is which is an island and here subject is which and predicate is is an island island and here which cross each other at right angle which cross each other at right angle right angle and here subject is which and predicate is cross each other next is where you are on the highest level where you are on the highest level subject is where no 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 subject is you ha uh-huh. ha here subject is you and predicate is are on the highest level now that is next part next part is uh, the food is delicious clause is the food is delicious this is see this is giving complete sense it has both subject and verb and here the subject is we are talking about food now sub predicate is is delicious even when it's post midnight even when it is it's post midnight midnight and here subject is it we are talking about it what midnight post midnight predicate is is past midnight is past midnight 
i hope it is clear to you let's move to the next part now let's move to the next part the adverb clause now dear students try to remember what adverb is so now to try now try to recall adverb adverb is what adverb is adverb is that that which adds meaning or tells something which tells something more about something more about what a verb ki koi action kaise ho raha hai verb oh tell something about verb add verb no not adverb it is ad adverb already adjective 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 like if i say he ran fast what is here fast he is running but he is running if i say he ran slowly so that there is fastly or slowly these have different meaning it means action is being done but how the action is being performed it tells adverb tells it about now read the sentences underline the part of the sentence that tells us something more about the action just like that it can it adverb tells something more about the action or state mentioned in bold letter one has been done for you the children got together after their school had got over this is action got together and how when it after their school got over she will be staying with me now underline this word though she can afford a good hotel so she this is action this action is being uh, this uh, we, this part of the sentence is telling about this action they can win again see here the match by if they work hard her parent disapprove of parties now see here disapprove of parties if they are held at night similarly next part is uh pratinav ran fast so that he could reach the school in time for the class see this is action this action is by, being done in this way we must preserve trees before it is too late now please notice this clause school had got over she can afford a good hotel all these are clauses because it has both subject and predicate but again it is telling something about this part it is telling something more about the action being taken in this these sentences so these are called adverb clause always remember clause may or may not give a complete sense but clauses have both subject and verb whereas phrases do not have subject and verb so they never gives complete sense now more let's move to the next part i hope you are getting it adverb clause now on the basis of that now column a with column c and use words from the column b to connect them and make a meaningful sentence one has been done for you now you can do it we met several years ago while i was studying in the uk i uh, see here here the oh, oh. the is being used can you recall article why the proper name have this article name of the country just try to recall now we met several years ago we met several years ago while now see here this is this is being used while i was studying in uk i am learning music why because or because i want to be a singer we must return home what before it starts raining before it start raining i will buy you this book when or if you need it she gave a loud scream when she saw a snake 
मतलब देर आर सो मेनी सेंटेंस यू कैन देर आर सो मेनी परमोटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन दैट यू कैन क्रिएट एंड मेक सो आई होप यू कैन डू इट यू कैन डू इट ऑफ योर ओन नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द वर्कशीट एट एंड वॉट इट इज ऑल अबाउट इट्स ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट वॉट डू यू थिंक शुड बी डन विद रिगार्ड टू द फॉलोइंग एनवायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम्स टेक हेल्प फ्रॉम द क्लूज गिवन बिलो राइट वन सेंटेंस अबाउट ईच वन हैज़ बिन डन फॉर यू when will soil erosion stop uh i think soil erosion will stop when we take up a drive for a forestation this part is used now how can the taj mahal be saved uh taj mahal if we stop this part has to be used so if uh, in the second line we can write just a moment we have to use these these only how can the taj mahal be saved we can write like this the taj mahal can be saved if we stop if we stop acid rain okay if we stop acid rain how can the problem of industrial pro- pollution be solved the pol- problem right from here the problem of industrial pollution be solved if we relocate if we relocate this part okay this part relocate the industries of uh relocate the relocate industries to the outskirt of the city outskirt of the cities means city se kafi dur will skin cancer due to the hole in the ozone layer find an end okay the skin cancer due to the hole in the ozone layer find an end when we ban if we ban if or we, you can write if we ban this one right how can wildlife is sa- saved wildlife can be saved if we stop hunting okay so this sentence says contain an adverb clause each now adverb is what adverb is a uh, word that tells something about verb okay or adjective to jab adverb ki jagah group of word use ho raha hai jo ki adverb ki tarah kaam kar raha hai it is just acting like adverb the group of words that acts like adverb is called adverb clause okay so these are all adverb when we take up dry for and clause when we are talking about clause it has subject and verb so clause adverb clause is that clause which act as an adverb in the given sentence which have both subject and predicate so you can do it of your own thus this has been solved here now let's move to the next part adjective clause similarly in the same fashion adjectives are what which qualifies or which tells about noun which tells more about the noun and if we are talking about adjectives clause it has to be group of words which acts as adjective so the family that lives next door hails from australia so let's do it the family that lives now so notice the the italicized group of words the family that lives next door hails from australia it is telling more about the noun i have a dog that follows me everywhere right everywhere it is telling about a dog and it has both subject and predicate that is subject this is the garden that is famous for its roses that is famous for its roses how is the policeman who help me find the way so now when do you notice or what do you notice what you have noticed that we have noticed that this thing this italicized word group of words are telling something more about the noun so this is and this is adverb clause since it has both verb and subject it has both verb and subject or we can say it has both a subject and the predicate right so adjectives are the clauses which act as adjectives in the group of in a in a sentence 
so let's do it they describe the noun and so do the work of an adjective each group contains a adjective and a predicate a subject and a predicate remember remember so we uh, the clause which contains a subject and a predicate of its own and does the work of adjective is called adjective clause fair enough simple enough i guess if you will do the practice you will understand in a more clear way now worksheet 9 let's see what is it is all about look at the picture uh, of a beautiful hill station the letter letter given on the next page describe the place but there are some blanks in it fill the blanks use the clues given in the aid box the first blank has been filled as an example let's do what's there now say this beautiful lena city it has a temple it has some beautiful scenery so first one is done shiv temple built in 17th century girwar forest rich wildlife in the east of the okay 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 so this is the aid box now you have to write it guess hi priyal guess where i am writing from i am in lena city it is a small hill station which is in the east of india the scenic beauty here is simply breath taking breath taking to the north north of the city is a waterfall which is which is what is there so in the help box see the help box uh, with the waterfall you have to write is a delight to view so we will write waterfall which is a delight delight to view people leave in the house that is made of wood see the help box in the west in girwar forest which is rich in wildlife which is rich in wildlife wildlife the people here are friendly and helpful they are very religious too the famous shiv temple was built in 17th century was built in 17th century on the outskirts of the city gauri volcano gauri volcano which is which is now inactive which is now inactive just see the help box inactive is in the north west it has a huge crater crater is what from where the uh, volcano has erupted the city is sparsely populated sparsely populated means less less populated i am sending some picture of the place on whatsapp with love shalu so this is a sort of informal uh, writing if the date and place has been added it could have been proper letter writing informal letter writing now worksheet 10 and now see here the clauses you have completed all are adjective clauses you know these are all adjective clauses you fill the box fill the blanks in the in your practice book and then see how the adjective clauses are used it has all the clauses have subject and verb and acting as adjective and adjectives are what which tells which specify noun which tells more about noun which describes noun now let's move to the next part worksheet 10 look at the picture and complete the given sentence by adding a suitable adjective clause one has been done for you vishal who is being chased by a dog can run really fast now see here the dog is chasing so one has to protect himself or herself in order to escape the dog so now say he see here you have to use what adjective clause so vishal who is being chased by a dog can run very fast now see here it has both the it is subject and this is predicate so who is being chased by a dog it is telling more about the adjective so it is adjective clause adjective care really 
which is telling more about noun now let's move to the next part the castle which has now let's move to the next part the castle which has okay red bricks and castle which is on the hill this see here hill castle which is on the hills is very ancient so if we are talking about which has uh, which is on the hills it is what adjective clause now what is the name of that girl who is laughing who is very happy who is very happy okay so let's move to the next part what is that this book is this book is in this book is this book is uh, this book which is written by someone like uh, which is about wild life is very interesting interesting can write this is a desert which is famous for uh, which is famous for dry season okay now let's you can write it off your own you can form your own sentence by saying the picture this is a house which is, which seem to be haunted which seems to be haunted i have a box which is full of chocolates i have a box or what it is i have a box which is full of chocolates full stop now let's move to the next part it is it is the weather that is now see here chill some people are lying on the bed it is the weather that is making people sick or bless you this is the tree that is famous for uh famous for uh, which which blesses na famous for granting wishes granting blessings okay so this is it now let's move to the next part let's see what is there what is there noun clause now simply just like adjective or adverb clause noun is the clause group of word that acts as noun it means it will act as noun while it will have both subject and verb predicate it will be noun but it will be it will be having group of words now read this sentence so what do you notice about the group of words uh written in the bold i fear it is going to rain can you guess how the story ends what we need now see here and you know that subject can come in the middle or the end or the beginning of the sentence okay subject it is not that subject always will be in the beginning it can be in the beginning or in the middle or in the end so what we need is good sleep whoever owns this place must be rich so these are all that is acting like noun okay so does the group of words in his sentence written in bold have a subject and a predicate now see here subject and predicate it is going to rain this is verb and this is subject the story ends this is subject and ends is verb 
we need now see here we is subject need is verb whoever owns whoever is subject and owns is verb understood now does the group of words in each sentence written in bold we are talking about the bold one have a subject and a predicate of its own yes is it phrase or clause clause now tell me whether it is phrase or clause obviously if it has both subject and verb it will be what clause never phrase so let's move to the next part so this is these are noun clause let's move to the next part uh, the clause that that does the work of noun is called noun clause a noun clause is usually the subject or the subject of a object of a verb now let's move to the next part worksheet 12 now what it is huh? it must be about noun clause so noun is noun clause is the group of words that acts as noun write a sentence uh, on each of the prompts given below using a noun clause one has been done for you as an example said uh, said not refuse such a good offer he said that he could not refuse such a good offer now you have to use no vote for the best candidate i know that i know that everyone will all will vote all will vote for the best candidate adjective the superlative degree try to recall now said sure to win he said he said that he is sure he is sure to win or sure of his win you can write this way also now let's move shock to hear a stampede in the shireen shrine so shock to hear a stampede stampede means jo bhagdad ho jate jo bheed mein jo bhagdad machti hai that is stampede now what is there shock to hear i was shocked to hear i was shocked to hear that there was a stumped in the shrine full stop don't know who will drive in the hills i don't know what uh, that i don't know you can write it of your own i don't know that who will drive in the hills full stop similarly it's pity that he has it's pity that he lost his job full stop now let's move to the next part i what is that i want i want succeed with good marks i want that i succeed with good marks so all these are what noun clause 
let's move to the next part worksheet 13 complete the following sentences by adding a noun clause to each of them make sure that clauses have a subject and a predicate of course a uh, uh, clause has subject and predicate of their own one has been done for you the mystery is how the mystery is how we entered the house the mystery is how he entered the house now my teacher wants now you have to see that we have a subject and the predicate now my teacher wants to know like uh, wants to know who tore the book okay so here is subject and tore the book is predicate i could not imagine that he missed the train any sentence you can form any sentence of your choice but it should it must have subject and predicate that he missed the train or bus full stop so here is subject and the predicate i want to know where he went where he went subject predicate gandhi ji believed that that truth always wins truth always wins or uh, you can write yes no one can deny that deny that sun rises in the east that can deny that sun rises in the east see here sun noun uh, subject and these are words this is this is the way i can complete my work what we are studying we are studying noun clause noun clause are what which acts as noun and they are in the group of words so see here this is the way this is and i can now see here it there is subject and this is predicate so let's do the worksheet for next uh, do you like crosswords and word that word puzzles write down one reason why you like do not like crossword and a uh, word puzzle if you like so you can write because you can write i like crossword puzzles because because uh they are brain exercise full stop now this these are the words and so now you have to do and you can do now write clues for each of the words one has been done for uh, done as an example also encircle the clauses in the clues written by you now you need one when you play tennis what is that racket now second is helmet uh, it is worn that so that you can can protect yourself one can or so that uh, better right so that one can protect oneself can protect the person now next is champion the person who wins the match a structure uh, what is that goal goal okay the structure which is made of iron and 
net which is made of iron and net that is what gold see the clue box now fifth is fifth is a person referee a person who what does a referee do a person who conducts the the match and then sixth is match a game or a sports a game played between what is match a game played between two teams okay so this is underlined word now i am moving to the next part next is winner winner is who a team a person or a team a person team who wins the game this one is seventh this one is seventh now eighth eighth is what score score is uh score is the points awarded awarded to the teams full stop now ninth is doubles ninth is doubles a game a match a game played by two people in each teams that is doubles just a ten tennis mein hota hai ya fir badminton mein hota hai doubles from each of the team have two players so these are what these are all clauses now what is next worksheet 15 get into groups of four and create a word puzzle choose a theme and a hidden word from the list given below the hidden word should from the backbone of your word puzzle now see here the hidden word should be closely guarded secret theme household passion possessions furniture theme is household possession and hidden words furniture like human body high lashes okay okay write your hidden word downwards find other words from the particular topic which could make up this puzzle now write down the clues to enable the other words to find the words okay okay it is just you have to act on the clues and you have to write it now clues is is 